Hi, good afternoon. Um, we're going to give you this uh, a free, quick safety uh, video. Uh, it's mainly about the basic safety terms. So we find out during our training that uh, sometimes people are, you know, carried away speaking with uh, complicated terms and, and definitions when sometimes they're still confused about um, the basics. So let's take it down to the basics once more. Um, the first thing that I would like you to know is the difference between terms like hazard and risk and hazardous situation and an unsafe act, unsafe condition like that. And especially the difference between a hazard and the risk because people usually are confused. So we put it this way. Hazard. None of this is clear. I'm sorry, I'm using a wide angle lens here. So, and Let's start with the hazard. And um, I'm giving you an example here. The example will be smoking, cigarette smoking. And um, what adverse health effects that may result in that. We'll try to keep it as short as possible because I'm not sure how um, big a video can, can the camera take. So let's say smoking in here. And um, uh, in, in case of cigarette smoking, and we're talking about health effects, um, not physical. Effects. So I'm not talking about the, the fire problems of cigarette, no, I'm talking about the health effects. So the focus of health effects, um, in cigarette smoking case, when you smoke a cigarette, what is the hazard in here? Actually, in cigarette smoking, the hazard would be, what do you think? Yeah, it's the chemicals inside uh, the material that you're smoking. So in this case, the tobacco itself or the nicotine or whatever you'd like to, um, to call it. And in, in case uh, the cigarette is, is lit, then this would be the smoke coming out. This is the hazard. This is the source of danger. Okay? Nice. So the hazard in here would be, let's say, the nicotine. Okay? In, in the other case, what is the act of smoking? Someone would say smoking is a risk. Smoking is not a risk. Smoking is an unsafe act. Okay? Smoking is an unsafe act. So now I'm talking about the, the act of smoking. When I'm smoking the cigarette, I'm committing or I'm doing an unsafe act. The hazard I'm exposed to is the tobacco or the chemicals inside the cigarette. Right. Okay, and what is the risk? Now, um, when we talk about the risk, it's the risk of, of, of the outcome, of the negative outcome that we are trying to avoid. In this case, let's say, for example, for example, that it would be lung disease, okay? So, if the consequence or the adverse effect that we are trying to avoid is um, uh, lung disease, then the risk would be the risk of the smoker developing the lung disease. And this is why we usually estimate or calculate risk. Uh, we don't really would like we wouldn't like to define it. We more like to estimate it based on you know the basics that you know probability and the severity of the outcome uh, or of the injury. In this case is lung disease. So the risk in the case of cigarette smoking um, will be the risk of developing lung disease. And in this case, we're going to say, let's say, for example, uh, based on the probability and the severity of the lung disease, we're going to do uh, a high or medium or low risk, okay? And the lung disease itself, let's say, for example, the lung disease in itself, in this case, is the consequence or the injury that we're trying to avoid, okay? So again, in the case of cigarette smoking, just to try to differentiate between the definitions of hazard, risk, uh, unsafe acts, unsafe conditions, and uh, consequences. Uh, the hazard in cigarette smoking would be the nicotine, where we're talking about health hazards. Uh, the unsafe act would be the smoking act itself. The risk would be the risk of developing lung disease, which would be a higher medium or low risk, for example. And uh, the consequence that we're trying to avoid is the lung disease itself. Now, um, I don't know if this is clear yet now, but uh, maybe we give another quick example, you know, because hazards on their own, you need to know that so that you're not confused. Hazards on their own are not harmful. There's no risk. The risk starts when you approach the hazard and you start interacting with it. So let's say there is a snake. Well, it's a beautiful snake. It's a nice snake. There's nothing wrong with the snake. But once you try to approach the snake and you try to interact with it, now the risk of you getting bitten develops. 
Okay, so I hope this uh, quick video is beneficial and uh, clarified the, the, the differences between terms like hazard, risk, unsafe act, unsafe condition, and consequences. Thank you very much.